and welcome to a new episode of Solo Joking and Zack. Today we will gonna talk about the, in the detail about the GXXX01 secret weapon from 2020. Yes, we already saw it in the unboxing, but today we will see better in the details. I must say, Banda, in the last few years, it get lost uh, a bit. <laughs> in fact, not many new ideas. <laughs> and after the virus recalling the last one and the color for the DC version, the new trend, it is the vintage. In fact, some different models, they will be re-released with a box and color similar to the Poppy edition from 70s like the GX-59, ah, Daltanius, but also the DX-04, Voltus 5, both in a box! And into all this vintage trend, this GX-XX-01 secret weapon, it is the link between the past and the future. Precisely this weapon dedicated to the various 70s Jumbo Robo, the famous shotgun warriors Mattel in the West, this weapon has been recreated in scale for our GX DC Dynamic Classic Bandai. Wow! <laughs> so let's not waste time, roll the video! <laughs> DC International presenta Más India. Hey, did you see that flash? I am a Mazinga Z. Hey, did you hear that crash? Mazinga Z. He is powerful. Long episode. There is a lot to say, but let's start from the box of this GXXX01 secret super weapons from 2020. Box in line with the DC models. We have the product in the center right, with on the left many of the super robots that can take advantage of these super weapons. And on the right a close-up of Mazinga Z, always the favorite. <laughs> At the bottom right we have the special logo of these weapons, XX Plan Project XX and the black dynamic sticker. On the side we have the series of robots take from all the robotic series that we have seen in the cover. In fact, we see starting from the top to the bottom, the Dark General, obviously from Mazinga Z and the Great Mazinga, Jiru Jiru, the most famous enemy of a Grandizer, some mini UFO, Mechazaurus Zen, Mechazaurus Zoo from the series Getter Robot, Dukaider and Porabus from the Great Mazinga, and Kingdom X10, Grangus C3 from Mazinger Z. On the other side, we have the continuation of the cover image with a getter 2 with one of the secret super weapons. Here it is, the complete image. Above, the name of the product and part of the cover image barely visible on a black background. Below, we have the virus telephone number and virus information. Let's turn the box and we have many images, a beautiful one with all super robots together with the various dedicated weapons. At the bottom, they stand up in the shape of the Jumbo Mazinga Z from the 70s. The builder with Mazinga Z. On the right, all the weapons dedicated to each robot start from the top. We have XX1 Rocket Punch for Mazinga Z. Not too much to say, they are the famous Rocket Punch. Finally, also the DC version can shoot Rocket Punch. XX2 Photon Fire Flame that spit out photonic flames from japanium material, which is more powerful than uranium. Oh well, this one for Great Mazinger. XX3 Digital Missile Ammunition that can fire six missiles simultaneously, reach speed of Mach 12, and can pass through anything this weapon dedicated to Getter 1. XX4 Light Speed Breaking Disc, that is a very fast disc, 
that destroy everything and goes at speed Mach 26. <laughs> wow! <laughs> this weapon dedicated to Getter 2, which is a pure speed. XX5 Phantom Magnetic Arm, precisely a magnetic weapon so powerful that it can move the magnetism of the Earth. This weapon dedicated to Grandizer, it can push away with anti-gravity storm and attract her to him again with this weapon or take the remote control without moving if it is on the sofa. <laughs> the last secret super weapons! XX6 Megaton Crane A crane built with a super speech alloy, the double Z is so resistant that it does not bend. This demolition weapon could only be dedicated to Getter 3. Let's open the box and we find a Jumbo Mazinger Z stand up, a platform for Jumbo Mazinger, three sets of missiles, a mini UFO, one rocket punch setup a overpilder, part of the XX4 weapon, a display, here the various weapons, XX4, XX2, XX3, XX6, with the two metal bolts with 100,000 tons and 5,000 tons, XX1 and XX05. Let's open the instruction, they are very big. In the cover we have the product with a Jumbo Mazinga Z ready shoot a rocket punch in the background. Let's go to open it. The various original weapon from the 70s with a Jumbo Robot image and a card to send to become a member of XX Plan. Oh, nothing erotic. <laughs> We also have some interesting information from the Jumbo Robot history of the 70s. The various Super Robot models, Dynamic Classic, to which these super secret weapons are dedicated, with a description and the image of the various robot take from the anime, with some information. The various weapons of 2020 with the various descriptions. How to assemble everything and how to apply the weapons to the various models. In fact, we see all the weapons apart from rocket punch can be applied to all the robots. We also have the comic for the launch of this weapon with some memories of the toys of the 70s by the Mangaku and some curiosity about the timeline of the comic by the writer. The comic does not make sense at all, see, in this way. Being a manga, it should be read from right to the left. This is the cover of the comic, very beautiful, Super Robot Corps, Dynamic Great Battles, Volume 1, Trigger, XX Plan, The Evil Army of Darkness, The Invasion of the Dark General's Army is Destroying Tokyo, <laughs> of course, <laughs> but here coming the Super Robot Army. But the enemy are too strong and our heroes are in difficulty. The glass of the jet pillar is destroyed. Koji, say Dr. Yumi, you can't do it and better retreat. The virus professor have a plan and it's time to reveal the super secret weapons and a new overpillar for Mazinga Z. <laughs> And in fact, with these super secret weapons, our super robots kick the ass of all virus enemy. And yes, with the two very fast missiles, a metal ball, a magnetic arm, a rotating disc and a flame spitting weapon, our super robots have the best. <laughs> the getter beam was not power enough, <laughs> or the breast fire was not hot enough. <laughs> anyway, the comic is very well drawn and the last page we have a to be continued with a dark general introducing two new enemy that will be the next release Bandai, the Jigs 25R, Garada K7, Genocide F9, and the GX 26R, Dablus M2 with Dam Dam L2, and most likely we also have the continuation of this comic in the extraction. Let's hope. Let's move on to the display that recalled the Virus Dynamic Classic with the name already applied. Let's go to assemble it and let's see the Mazinga Z stand up, which follow the Mazinga Z Jumbo of the 70s, all in black colored plastic with the virus missile. We can remove the arms, rotate the fist, and everything else is rigid. I must say it is very nice, pity for the coloring. It will be nice to have it with the color of the Jumbo. Maybe Bandai will put the Jumbo color series on the market. <laughs> Let's insert it and the missile and the overpilder. 
Let's add the bar's weapon, x63, x62, x61, x64, x65, and x66 with the two Megaton bolts. Let's have a look at it from the top and from the back. Let's have a look from the virus weapon on the Jumbo model. X63 with the virus missile. X62 with the handle rotated. X64 with the disc mounted. X61 can be used only for GX70. X65 with a UFO and extension. X66 with a one of the metal bolts obviously made by plastic and with a bigger one. These are the secret super weapon on display. Let's move on to the Pilder, which is the classic over Pilder that was not present in the GX70 because we had the Jet Pilder. I must say, very nice, but we have only the docking to Mazinga Z version. We don't have the flight version like we had in the GX70 VS. In fact, let's compare it with the GX70 VS and we see they are similar, but the glass of the GXXX. 01 SSW whoo, is more blue and the one of the GX70 VS is more white. As I said, we have only the docking version. Let's go and see the virus builder on the GX70 precisely with the GXXX01, with the GX70 VS, with the jet builder GX70, with the GX70 SP, GX70 Cyan Chrome Noir, the GX70 D damage. Anyway, let's stop here. <laughs> let's have a look the overpiller on the GX70 SP, the GXXX01, GX70 VS, and the jet pilder of the GX70, and the one from GX70 SP. Let's move on to the virus weapon in the details. Let's start with the XX1 rocket punch. All in rigid plastic, the fist does not rotate it. This weapon is only for Mazinga Z. The shape of the arm is precisely that one from Mazinga Z. Let's unhook the rocket setup exactly like those of the GX01, nothing new. Let's remove the arm from our Mazinga Z, add the rocket setup and the punches. Rocket I can finally shot rocket punch even on the GX70. Let's compare it with the arm from the GX70 and we note all the details are missing. The color joint and the blue color is not the same. It is pity. XX2 Photon Fire Flame. Very heavy and almost entirely made in metal with a plastic rotating knob to lessen the incinerator flame and this is the weapon dedicated to the Great Mazinger. Even I don't understand why since the Great Mazinger has the breast fire, more or less this weapon is the same things. I must say this weapon is not bad on the Great Mazinger or on other robots, even if the coloring is not the best and with a few details, very simple. XX3 Rapid Digital Missile Ammunition. Well, they could find a better name, like a destructive supersonic missile. <laughs> anyway, all in metal base, very heavy, with plastic missiles. I have to say the missiles are ugly and gray, <laughs> and not white with a red tip, like in the 70s. Too bad, also here missing details. I must say that all these weapons lack details. This weapon is dedicated to Getter 1. Let's remove the arms and add the weapon. I must say that they are very not proportionate to the body and are not very beautiful to look at. In the comic they are more proportionate and beauty to look at. As I said, the instruction indicated that we can add them to all our dynamic classic. And I must say that even to the other robot, they are very disproportionate. Perhaps on the armless getter tree, they are not bad, but on the other, so ugly, it is pity. Bandai, Bandai. <laughs> 
XX4 Light Speed Braking Disc. Wow, the name describes all the disc that endures at the speed of light that destroy everything. With the speed of Mach 26, which is not the speed of light, oh well, <laughs> very, very slower. <laughs> anyway, it is a format by two parts, the disc with a template that's must to mount it, which is ejected in plastic, and the body all metal apart from the viewfinder and the trigger, they are in plastic. There is a part that seems to join but is not. Here too, the details are missing. They are very simple coloring that's worked in the 70s, but in the 2020 is very ridiculous. Okay, okay, vintage, but it could have been done better anyway. This weapon is dedicated to Getter 2. I must say that all these weapons for Getter 2 are too heavy for the stability of the model. We see the viewfinder, which indicated that weapon should go to the left arm, but we can also put in other arm. Very playful weapon. XX5 Phantom Magnetic Arm. The magnetic arm, I must say that this weapon is my favorite, not because it is beautiful, but because it comes with a very, very nice mini UFO from Grandizer series. So much good. I have seen this set of weapons sold with the description. New, never exposed, only the mini disc is missing. <laughs> new, <laughs> and also claim at the full price <laughs> as new. <laughs> yes, it's the most beautiful things about this set. The weapon is common, tilted magnetic arm, extendable, almost entirely made of metal. And obviously it is dedicated to Grandizer so it can capture the mini UFO more easily. Since in the anime the mini UFO were the things that's less bore grandizers, let's put the weapon in the other robots, also this weapon I must say that is a little bit too big for a virus model and not full of detail and with exposed screw. Uh, uh, uh. XX6 uh, Megaton Crane, anyway this weapon makes us understand this is a clear it is a toys from 70s, mm, a metal crane with a chain and a hook to attach two plastic weights with the two different sides. Okay, okay, I understood it, a vintage, but maybe a modernization with some retro. Mm? But here it is all retro, idea, quality and details. We have the yellow knob that you turn it, you can extend the chain. All body is metal apart from the red final part which is a made of plastic. Here it is in action and this splendid and very common weapon is dedicated to Getter 3. <laughs> Always the most beautiful things to this robot. <laughs> we can put it at the end of the arm as indicated by destruction, but in my opinion, it is more proportionate attached to the arm. This color match very well to the various DC, especially the Getter, also having the yellow part. <laughs>
Here it is, the Super Robots Corps with the secret super weapons. Oh yeah, we have come to the price and conclusion of this very long episode. You can find it at this additional set as a price of 7,500 yen, 100 New Zealand dollars, about 60 euros. Price very much in line with the GX70 VS, even if I don't know which of the two set is more interesting. Maybe this one with the overpilder, even if it is just docking mode for the mini Jumbo Mazinger, but over everything, the mini UFO from Grandizer series. It is the top piece of this set. I must say that the set will have taken much more value interested even in displaying if the Jumbo Mazinger had been colored. I have seen several videos of people illustrating which color to use to recreate the Jumbo Poppy coloring of the 70s, and I must say colored make more sense. Even the missile with the coloring of the 70s would have been more interesting than the current gray. I must say that the biggest flaw of this set is the lack of attention of details. I understand vintage, but this is a doing nothing. Too bad, maybe the idea could be very nice, but badly done. However, as we saw in 2019 Tamashii Nation Expo, Bandai presented this set with additional of the XX11 vehicle. We had in the 70s, but also it is a present in our Mazinger Z episode, which make us guess with the addition of the Plan XX logo, that's very likely we will see different sets of weapons and vehicles since the 70s. As I have glimpsed in the introduction video, there are many other weapons. In fact, we also have a ZZ series. This might have been Bandai plan but I guess they will evaluate the gain of this set before any other decision. Okay, that's all for today. I will see you next time with a G75 Magnetizer. Always here, Solo Chogokin and Zed.